We know you're busy. We know you want to know what's happening. Give me five minutes and I'll tell you what you need to know. Here's the deal. Downtown Jacksonville, home to the beautiful St. John's River and renderings. There is a lot of potential downtown and yes, there is another plan. Here's the deal. The Downtown Investment Authority signed off on a 44-story mixed-use tower at Riverfront Plaza. That's the old landing spot. It would become the third tallest building in the city. We're actually looking at different type of systems that we're actually now doing in New York. The project would get $36 million in city incentives and a $27 million construction loan from the city. The construction could start in two years with completion in 2027. Some good news for Duval teachers. They're getting a raise. The school board just approved it for this year. The new minimum base salary for starting teachers now $48,700. That is a $1,200 increase. Trash service in Clay County has some people who have to pay for it holding their noses. Here's the deal. Fees are going up, but full service hasn't returned yet. Starting October 1st, solid waste collection fees in Clay County are going up more than $6 a month. But taxpayers in Clay say they're paying for trash, recycling, and yard waste. And during the driver shortage for the past two years, they say they've only been getting trash picked up regularly. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just adding insult to injury there. You know, you haven't been doing your job and now you want more money to not do it. The county voted to give taxpayers a $22 credit on their next property bill for missed service this past year, but there is no plan to do that this year. Michaelers Beach is a popular spot in St. John's County. For those of you who've been there know that it gets kind of crowded at that access point and it's going to get worse at least for a little while. That's because heavy equipment is coming back for more dune work. The project was delayed because of staffing issues, but the FEMA work to restore the dunes has restarted. It's expected to be done September 21st. Well, those dunes have been damaged by hurricanes, and this work is being done while Tropical Storm Fiona is lurking. So I'm showing you right now one of the latest tracks as of Friday afternoon, but this is going to get updated several times every day through the weekend. So for the latest track, and oh, by the way, all things Jaguars, as they have their home opener on Sunday. And for breaking news, I invite you to check us out on TV. CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax will have all the latest. Finally, a salute to a local firefighter named EMT of the Year for the state of Florida. Congratulations to Max Schaefer. He was named EMT of the Year at the Florida Health Department's Excellence in Emergency Medical Services Awards in Orlando. His bosses at the St. John's County Fire Department say that he is an energetic and enthusiastic mentor, leader, and teacher. Max, we all thank you. And I want to thank all of you for watching another episode of Here's the Deal. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll share it with your friends and your coworkers.